a flying saucer, a killer drone. One is alien, the other man-made, or is it? We have declassified Air Force files now that clearly show schematics of what look to be UFOs. Many experts believe America had help building its airborne arsenal. The government says the project was a complete failure. Insiders claim it was a success. Tonight, we unseal the truth behind America's new killer aircraft and reveal the out-of-this-world technology the U.S. military is using to conquer the globe. What if the history you were taught in school was all a lie? Is our government controlled by a secret society? Welcome to the world of conspiracy, where cover-ups, secrets, and hidden agendas all trace back to a single source. We're about to unseal the secret files the government doesn't want you to know about. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. 2001. The United States begins a campaign of unmanned drone strikes against suspected enemy strongholds as part of its war on terror. The RQ-1 Predator is America's primary attack drone. It's a strange, almost alien-looking aircraft, quite unlike anything else in the Air Force arsenal. Then, in 2010, President Barack Obama signs Executive Order 13526, creating the new National Declassification Center in College Park, Maryland. It's their job to pour through an estimated 400 million pages of secret government documents to determine those now safe to be released to the public. But one obscure file will kick open the doors to a 60-year-old government conspiracy that could forever change how America thinks about its military and its government. Unsealed case file, Project 1794. September 2012, the NDC begins working its way through a shipment of more than 100 boxes from the United States Air Force. Among the thousands of files, the staff discovers an obscure document from the Aeronautical Systems Division, dating back to 1956, entitled Project 1794. Final Development Summary Report. Opening it, they are amazed to find over 140 pages of detailed plans and flight test reports for an American flying saucer. The saucer-shaped design is unlike anything flying today, and its performance estimates are astounding. If Project 1794 was actually completed and built, they said that it would go Mach 3 to 4, which means that's about 24 to 2600 miles per hour in near-Earth orbit. That's a very quick spaceship, is what you could call it. If the military were to get their hands on that, think about what that meant. Project 1794 represented a quantum leap in aerospace engineering technology. But where is the prototype? A close examination of the 1956 report reveals that the U.S. military did the unthinkable, something the 2012 media coverage ignored. It handed over top secret Project 1794 to a foreign company. Unsealed case file, the Avro car. In the early 1950s, Avro Canada is making a name for itself as the manufacturer of a line of sophisticated fighter jets. A delegation of American defense experts visits the factory in 1953 to view the Avro's latest jet fighter with the company's chief designer, Jack Frost. Along the way, Frost breaks from the scheduled tour to show the group his new pet project. He reveals plans for a flying disc that bears an uncanny resemblance to the American Silver Bug. It's an aircraft that will come to be known as the Avro car. The Americans are so impressed by Frost's work that they hand Avro Canada $750,000 for further development as an official U.S. defense research project. Their goal is to develop the Avro car into a fully armed flying jeep. For the next six years, Frost and his team of engineers worked tirelessly to perfect the Avro car. 
But despite their best efforts, the flying saucer never really takes off. The propulsion system doesn't work. In 1961, the US military cancels Project 1794. The Avro car is grounded for good, or so it seems. The Americans take the two otherwise useless prototypes with them back to the United States. What did the US military want with an aircraft that couldn't fly? Did they know something about flying saucers? The Canadians didn't. Coming up, we reveal the otherworldly origin of Project 1794 and the 60-year conspiracy to cover it up. Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. In 2012, the US government declassified a 1956 Air Force file detailing plans to build a flying saucer in Canada. The government declared the project a total failure. But why did it go to great lengths to bring home the prototypes? In 2007, a mysterious document was posted on the website serpo.org. It claimed to be a transcript from a secret meeting at the highest level of the American government, one that revealed the secret origin of Project 1794 and offered tantalizing clues as to its ultimate fate. Unsealed case file, extraterrestrial biological entity one. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. So help me God. January 20th, 1981. Ronald Reagan takes office as the 40th President of the United States. His strong anti-communist stance raises fears of a new global conflict with the Soviet Union. According to the information posted on serpo.org, less than two months later, CIA Director William Casey holds a special three-day security briefing for the new president at Camp David. The meeting is classified ATS, or above top secret. The only others in attendance are said to be a handful of Reagan advisors and a CIA employee referred to in the transcript as the caretaker. He begins a slideshow that will inform Reagan of America's darkest secret. There were, in fact, two UFO crashes near Roswell, one in 1947 and the second crash site discovered in 1949 that went unreported in the press. Along with the wreckage, a total of 13 deceased alien bodies were recovered from both sites, and the original 1947 crash had produced something even more extraordinary. One alien crew member was discovered to be still alive. This survivor was dubbed Extraterrestrial Biological Entity 1, or EBE-1. But instead of announcing this historic moment to the world, the American government embarked on the biggest cover-up in history. Shortly after the military said that they had a captured flying saucer, they completely rebutted their own story and said that it was nothing more than a weather balloon. Reagan is reportedly told that EBE-1 was treated for his injuries and transported to Los Alamos National Laboratory, birthplace of the atomic bomb, and at the time, the most secure place on the planet. There, attempts at communication revealed the alien to be the ship's mechanic, with an extensive knowledge of his race's advanced technology. In a quote from the transcript, the caretaker allegedly tells Reagan, EBE helped us learn from all the items found in the two crash sites. EBE showed us how some of the items worked. According to many experts, the 1947 Roswell incident marked the beginning of Project 1794. EBE-1 began showing American scientists how to integrate the recovered alien technology into its own military aircraft. And for many in the upper ranks, this help couldn't have come too soon. Now understand that this is the height of the Cold War. Tensions are high, nuclear weapons on both sides. Russia is definitely a threat. The United States was on the lookout for any possible advantage. An infusion of alien technology would tilt the balance of power decisively in America's favor. 
if they have the technology we believe they have, it'd be like a little kindergartner going up against uh, a UFC fighter. It'd be ridiculous. That search for any advantage also included Avro Canada. But how did the Avro car fit into America's alien plan? When the U.S. canceled Project 1794 in 1961, it brought both prototypes back to the United States, aircraft it previously declared useless. But were they really useless? Did the United States use Canada to develop an airframe for a propulsion system it was developing in secret with EBE-1? And what became of the project? Reagan has a deep distrust of the Soviets. But following the alleged Casey briefing, they aren't the only targets of his suspicion. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. Military spending under the Reagan administration skyrockets. Today, it exceeds that of the top 10 nations combined. But what is this massive sum of money being spent on? And who is the enemy? Coming up, America reveals a deadly new aircraft unlike anything ever seen before. Is this the modern day offspring of Project 1794? Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Recently declassified files have revealed the United States tried to build a flying saucer in the 1950s, and it's rumored they had alien help. The government says the project was canceled, but many experts believe it continued in secret. Unsealed case file. The X-47B drone. June 14th, 2012. Washington, D.C. City commuters are shocked to see a UFO in the middle of the city, but it isn't in the sky overhead. It's on the back of an 18-wheel transport. People driving by saw this thing on the back of the truck and, oh, Michael, we're pulling out a UFO. City authorities are flooded with calls, but it's soon revealed the UFO isn't what it seems. Well, it wasn't really a UFO. It was basically uh, a UAV, a drone. But the funny thing about it was, people didn't recognize it as a drone because it looked so strange. Many civilians who have seen this military technology being transported on the freeway or even being tested will report these craft as being UFOs. The U.S. Navy confirms the aircraft is the new unmanned X-47B drone. And it's unlike any drone that's come before. It requires only a short runway for takeoff and landing. It can cruise at just under the speed of sound and has three times the range of the Predator. In many ways, the X-47B bears a close resemblance to Project 1794. And why was 1794 so appealing to the US military? Because this thing could take off and land with almost no runway. It could go at super speeds that nothing could match. And it could get access into places that are much smaller than most conventional aircraft. Is the X-47B the culmination of decades of secret UFO research and development that began with Project 1794? Could this new killer drone be the product of alien technology? When you look at the technology, like the Beltway UFO, these ideas aren't just gonna come out of thin air. There's another thought process, though, that says that this technology was not necessarily from the human brain, but given to us by an alien civilization. A highly advanced civilization gave us this technology. The buzz surrounding the Washington incident dies down almost as quickly as it started. But why were the eyewitnesses so willing to accept the U.S. government's explanation with little or no further investigation? The answer is right in front of us. Unsealed case file. The Hollywood Conspiracy. 1953. At the same time the U.S. Department of Defense is handing Project 1794 to Avro, the CIA is engaged in UFO activities of its own. 
It convenes the Robertson Panel, a committee of the nation's best scientific minds to review military reports of UFO encounters and determine whether aliens pose a threat to national security. Well, this kind of harks back to this popular conception that our government is somehow dealing with UFOs, and of course it points to one of the most famous UFO stories of all, the 1947 crash at Roswell. In the years following Roswell, public fear of UFOs is at an all-time high. The Robertson panel recommends that the government take immediate steps to strip the unidentified flying objects of the aura of mystery they have unfortunately acquired. It's a bizarre strategy, considering the government is at the same time allegedly engaged in direct dealings with aliens whose true intentions have yet to be revealed. Stranger still is the panel's recommended means of achieving this end. They recommend the American public be educated about UFOs through mass media such as television and motion pictures. The government sets out to make UFOs seem perfectly normal by showing them to the public as much as possible. Flying saucers have invaded our planet. The nation's film and television screens explode with UFOs and alien threats that are almost invariably defeated by human heroes. It's a formula that continues today. Have we been brainwashed by 60 years of government exposure to UFOs to the point that we now accept them as part of daily life? Coming up, the final revelation of Project 1794 and what it might mean for the future of America and the rest of the human race. Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Recently declassified files have revealed that America attempted to build a flying saucer in the 1950s. According to the CIA, this was done with help of an alien survivor of the 1947 Roswell incident. Some experts believe this technology has reappeared in the form of the deadly X-47B attack drone. They're creating technology that mimics exactly what many UFO eyewitnesses are seeing. So you have to ask, is there a connection between that? Are we trying to mimic that technology to get a step above the current alien threat or a future alien threat given one doesn't exist right now? The U.S. government declassified the Project 1794 file in 2012, the same year it revealed the X-47B. Did it do this because it no longer fears any threat, human or otherwise? And what does this mean for the American people? In May 2013, the U.S. Attorney General confirmed the government has used drones on foreign soil to kill U.S. citizens suspected of terrorism. And it hasn't ruled out targeting American nationals in the future. For nearly 60 years, the American people appear to have been fed a steady diet of UFOs as a distraction, while the government built one of its own. Now, the nation is at its mercy. What the government will choose to do with this power remains unknown. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files.